Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to introduce our work about learning an overlap-based observation model for 3D LiDAR localization. Localizing in a pre-built map is very important for mobile robots and autonomous driving cars. In this work, we use the Monte Carlo localization to estimate the poles with particle filters. The Monte Carlo localization has been successfully used for global localization with multimodal beliefs. The challenge of the Monte Carlo localization is that the observation model is very important, but usually can be hard to design by hand. The contribution of this work is that we proposed a learning-based observation model for Monte Carlo localization using the estimate overlaps of 3D LiDAR scans from our previously work OverlapNet. And in the end, our methods can achieve good global localization results in changing outdoor environments. The Monte Carlo localization is also called particle filter-based localization system, which basically has two steps. It first takes samplings from a motion model with particles, and each particle represents a hypothesis of where the robot is at the current point in time, given we know that where it was before and the odometry commands. The second step is actually the correction step with an observation model which is actually the likelihood of the sensor observation given the pose hypothesis and the map. In this work, we mainly focus on the observation model part, and we use the estimates of the overlap net to build a learned observation model for Monte Carlo localization. So now I would like to recap somehow our previous work overlap net. Overlap net uses a deep neural network and provides the overlap and relative yaw angle estimates between pairs of LiDAR scans in an end-to-end -end fashion. Based on such estimates, in our previous work, we tackled the loop closing problem by integrating overlap net into a SLAM system. The overlap between two LiDAR scans can be defined as the ratio of points that can be seen from both LiDAR scans. The reason why we use overlap to find loop closure candidates is that larger overlap values often correspond to better alignment between pairs of LiDAR scans. This is an example. We have two LiDAR scans, scan A colored blue and scan B colored orange. If we put scan B to a wrong location with respect to scan A, the overlap between them is low. Otherwise, if the relative location is correct, the overlap between them is quite high if they are nearby. Our approach is able to predict the overlap without knowing the relative transformation between the LiDAR scans. This can help us to find loop closure candidates. This is a pipeline overview of our approach. On the left hand side, you see the pre-processing of the input data. It exploits multiple queues generated from the LiDAR scans, including range, normal, intensity, and semantic information, which are shown here as different colored image layers. We use all this information as the input to our overlap net. On the right-hand side, you see the architecture of the overlap net, which is a modified Siemens network. It consists of two legs and two heads. The two legs have the same architecture, and they share all weights. The two heads use the same pairs of feature volumes generated from the two legs. One head is called the delta head, which is used to predict the overlap between pairs of LiDAR scans. The other head is called correlation head, which is used to predict the relative yaw angle between pairs of LiDAR scans. For more detailed information, I would like to refer you to our ISS paper. After we finish our overlap net paper, there is a question come up to our mind. Can we use the overlap net to build a sensor model for localization system? Because the overlap net can also tell the similarity between two LiDAR scans. Furthermore, the overlap idea also fits quite well to the location likelihood. Because if two LiDAR scans are collected close to each other, the overlap between them is quite high. 
otherwise the overlap between them is lower. In this work, we built a new sensor model for Monte Carlo localization based on the overlap and relative yaw angle estimates between the query frame and the map frame. The query frame is actually generated from the LiDAR scan what we currently have. And the map frame is a virtual frame generated from the, from the map given the position of the particle and the pre-built model of the environment. To formulate a learned observation model with the estimates from the overlap net, we first need to decouple the observation model into two parts. One part is the location likelihood and the other part is the orientation or so-called heading likelihood. We formulate them both as the agreement between the query frame and the map frame. For the location likelihood, we directly correlated it to the overlap estimates from the network, where ZT and ZP represent the observations of the query and the map frame of a particle respectively. And W is the pre-trained weights of the network. While for the orientation likelihood, we calculate it using the Gaussian model of the relative yaw angle offsets between the query frame and the map frame. And in this way, we can formulate the observation model with overlap net estimates and update the weights for each particle. Here I show an example of generating the map frames. This is a given global map of the environment and the blue line represents the locations where we've been before. Here we zoom in a part of area in the environment. And you see that we first put grids on it and for each grid we will generate a virtual scan and store it in the map. Taking three particles as an example, we will assign each particle the nearest map scan according to its location. And after that, we will compare the query frame to all those map scans assigned to the particles. And for computing the observation model, we then use them as the input of our overlap net and use the output estimates to calculate the, the observation model and to update the weights of the particles. Here we show the likelihood of all grid cells in the local area calculated by the overlap-based observation model. The blue car in the figure shows the current true location of the car. As can be seen, the likelihood calculated by the overlap-based observation model can represent well the hypothesis of the current location of the car. Typically, for Monte Carlo localization, a large number of particles should be used to make sure that the real pose is included, especially when the environment is large. However, a large amount of particles will dramatically increase the computational time. When applying our overlap-based observation model, particles could still obtain relatively high weights as long as they are close to the real pose, even if they are not in the exactly same position. This allows us to use fewer particles to achieve a high success rate of global localization. Furthermore, if multiple particles locate in the same grid area, only a single inference between the query frame and the virtual frame of that grid needs to be done, which can further reduce the computational time. Here we show a demonstration of using our method to localize a vehicle in an urban environment. The particles were first generated uniformly around the whole map. After several iterations, you can see that the particles converged successfully to the correct location in a very short time. In the lower part, we show the current query scan and the map scan of the estimated location. The red line represents the reference trajectory and the blue line represents the estimated trajectory. The blue dots are the particles and the darker the blue, the higher is the weight of that particle. Note that our method only uses the 3D LiDAR information as the input and without taking other information like GPS or images into account. And as can be seen, it can achieve global localization successfully. Here we also showed the quantitative results of using our localization system over different seasons. We built our map, used the LiDAR data, collected in spring, and tested it with data collected in autumn and in winter. 
As can be seen, our method outperforms other baselines and has good generalization over different seasons. To summarize this work, first, we proposed an approach to achieve global localization using only 3D LiDAR scans without taking any other information into account. We proposed a learned observation model that exploits the overlap and the relative yaw angle estimates from the overlap net. The experimental result showed that our approach generalized well over different seasons. And in the end, we successfully integrate our approach into the Monte Carlo localization system and can achieve good global localization results. The code of our approach will be released on our GitHub. Please feel free to give it a try. Thank you for your attention.